I run uh, CEOs forums in the City of London and also all places east, so what I call the e-numbers, um, and uh, also entrepreneurs' boards. I find that the businesses that can make the best use of the CEOs forums are businesses where the leader of that business is committed to learning, where the business is of sufficient scale, which usually means they've got a turnover of two million plus, um, and businesses which are committed to growing and developing. For the Entrepreneurs Board, the more important thing in my experience is that the businesses have been in existence for some time, so uh, two or three years, um, and that there is at least a staff team, core staff team of five. Um, good rule of thumb is a turnover of a million plus. The experience I've had with the Academy groups is that when people come to the Academy group, they don't often realise what they're going to get from it. So what I see again and again is people come because they think the speakers will be interesting, they like the idea of a board you can never afford, but they stay because of the support they get from a group of peers who face the same kind of issues they face day in and day out. And with the diversity of the groups that I'm chair, they will find a whole range of opinions, a whole range of different experiences, and often a range of uh, ethnicity and gender. Members who come to my groups are enabled to share some of their deepest fears and their greatest hopes. They're able to start to move from thinking about how to succeed to start to thinking about why they want to succeed. They're able to start to move to, from what success feels like to understand what significance means for them and their family. And they're able to start to put what they do professionally in the context of their wider life, their wider goals, and their wider values. It's amazing to think that since the uh, Academy has been in existence, the, one of the earliest groups has now got 15 millionaires who've come through the groups. And for some people that is a measure of success, and uh, we are very keen to support people in that measure of success. For other people it's about dealing with sometimes very nitty-gritty issues, like how do I deal with a difficult staff member, all the way through to should I take up this business opportunity. Um, and some people come to me and they say, you know, by being in the Academy, it's not just that I've made more money, I've avoided some very expensive decisions. And I had a person who came into my group, they'd been there for about three months, and within three months they had actually increased um, the value of their sales by about 20% simply by ensuring that the sales properly closed um, and that paid back for his membership for the first three years. If you're interested in coming to an academy group, probably the most important thing is to meet one of the chairmen. Uh, the chairman is the person that you're going to have the strongest relationship with, but also the chairman is the person who's going to shape and form the group. And one of the very, very exciting things about the academy is the wide range of different chairmen we've got. Uh, and if the chemistry is there between you and the chairman, then you will start to find things work for you. There are various opportunities to tr suck and see, uh, and one of the most useful ones is to come to a thought leadership forum. They're run fairly regularly in the centre of London, you can find out on the website. And that will give you most of the experience of an academy day with very little financial obligation. So those are the two things I'd recommend. Um, as I say, talk to one of the chairmen and come to a thought leadership day. So those are the two things I'd recommend. Contact a chairman and sit down and talk to him and come to one of the Thought Leadership Days in central London.